the third and final rugby league test on which rested the fate of the Ashes will go down in the pages of sporting history as one of the most dogged struggles ever staged. The English team taking the field. Australia in the dark jerseys dominated the first half and when the half-time whistle went and scores were 9-3 in Australia's favour, the huge crowd was confident that the kangaroos were going to at last rest the Ashes from the Lions. Weissel landed two great penalty goals in the first half and succeeded in converting a brilliant try scored by the flying forward O'Connor. England scored only once before the interval, when Smith grounded the ball over Australia's line after an exceptional individual effort. The crowd was in ecstasy, considering the final result a foregone conclusion. But it had reckoned without the dour, determined, fighting spirit of the English team. With a terrific uphill battle ahead of them, the Englishmen responded to every call made upon them, playing like men possessed. Seldom has such accuracy of handling and precision of teamwork been seen on a football field. The sure goal kicking of Eric Weissel alone gave Australia its position on the scoreboard. And had he not been so sure-footed, the result might have been very different indeed. But he missed the one crucial goal that might have won Australia the match. With the scores at 13 all, Weissel failed with a penalty goal. If the ball in that instance had sailed between the posts, the moral effect upon the Englishmen might have been very great indeed, for after their magnificent uphill fight to have the advantage taken away, perhaps would have broken even the stoutest hearts. The Ashes have gone back to Merry England, unquestionably the better team won, and Australia pays homage to a team of good sportsmen and great footballers. The victory was well and nobly won. For the last and deciding test match that we played today, and turned out victorious, it was a wonderful game and played in a wonderful spirit. And I'm very proud to be the captain of this side that won the Ashes today. Australia sends a side to England in 12 months' time. And of what I've seen in Australia, I'm sure that they'll send a side as good as they, has, as they have done in the past. And I have no fear in saying that they will all their own.